All right, YouTube, part three here in 300 Win Mag load development. Um, kind of an amendment here to a former video. Um, adding the, uh, going back to the 190 Sierra Match Kings, went out the other day and, and uh, put put five of those in um, almost in the same hole. Um, went out with, uh, again, again loading 76 up to uh, 81. Um, and as you can see, that's going across the top from top left. I think, uh, let's see, top left was uh, 76, 77, and 78 grains grouped extremely well. Um, and I'll attribute that. We went out and shot these in the first or second video. I mean, I'll, I'll give you a little backstory on that because I think it'll help you out too. Since the first video, I did a little bit more um, reading into reloading, obviously getting um, getting a little more, more information, be able to educate yourself on the reloading process. So I, I, I chambered my... Um, Headspace to the to to my specific barrel using that Hornady uh, overall overall length gauge. Um, if you're if you're going to try and tighten up a pattern, that 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 is absolutely mandatory because we went out and shot these. If you remember from the first or second video, I can't remember, and I pretty much rode off the 190s um, as as not being able to group out of the the Savage 110 BA, not out of my barrel anyway. But uh, went out after I figured um, I figured out my specific barrel. Overall length and mine is 3.855. Once I measured that and I started loading all my headspace to that with the uh, with the comparator there, I'll tell you my my groups specifically in that two, that 208 Amex and this 190 CR Match King much improved. Um, and what's looking just at the regular Hornady book here, I can't remember which version it is, but it's all about headspace and how it creates pressure versus uh, um, when when you're too short or if you if you seat the bullet too deep and you know they kind of give you an example right here in the book of what it does to your shot size so super important i would definitely recommend this if you haven't done it yet um, if you're new to reloading you know this this needs to be uh this needs to be one of the first measurements that you do with your with your new rifle um i went out i i loaded uh what are these one i think these are 180s these didn't do as well neither did the 178 a max both of those were set um, to the to the new case overall length and that's 3855 for mine um, my dad has one as well so I have two numbers on there but his 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 performed extremely well as well he shoots a, a Bobby Hart custom rifle of all things but um, uh, yeah I, I wanted to share that if you have not done so I recommend uh, sizing your barrel I mean I've got a renege on my previous comments about the 190s because that's a that's a fairly tight group i can be very happy with that that's 100 yards um cool uh a cool december day here i think it's about uh the first sec second week of december probably the 12th when we shot that group so um, about uh 50 degrees in the state of ohio and overcast day we'll see how that duplicates if we can get out and do the same thing here this weekend i will definitely let you know if it does duplicate um, that's a that's a tight enough group right there that I may I may be interested in uh, further developing this load and seeing how it performs out of distance. So the 208 A Max is in the meantime um, several several competition shoots. I'm not I'm not the greatest competitor, but I, I go to the shoots to practice and and uh, that 208 A Max. I'm I'm 50 50 on whether I trust it or not, and you know um, too many too many quick follow up shots that that uh, you know. In the mill scope, I can pretty much call a call a miss. You know, four tenths low, five tenths right, whatever. Adjust, um, either hold over or do a quick dial you know dial adjustment in the in the turrets, and um, that should put you right on. Pretty quick follow up shots, and it's still still off target a few times. So I've lost just enough confidence that I'm willing to go back and try the 190s. And good thing I did because we wound up with that. So if I can duplicate this. Uh, if I can duplicate that, and it was what 78 grains, 78 grains of H1000 is what that, what produced that. So if I can go back out and duplicate that, I'll stretch this out to uh, 1,000 yards again and report back on how that goes. So just a quick update. Hope it helps. See ya.